Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5065426. Because of these error codes on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update and then hit pause over here. And once the update is paused, now click on resume updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to start app readiness. Windows Update and Background Services. Now for this type in Services in Windows Search Box, click on Services, Find App Readiness, make a double click, set this to Automatic, click on Apply, click on Start if I like it, and then click on OK. Now with this selected, make a right click and then click on Restart. Now find Windows Update Services, scroll down at the bottom here you can see Windows Update, make a double click, set this to Automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on, click on OK. Make a right click on Windows Update and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, again set this to automatic. Apply, click on start and then click on OK. Again make a right click and then click on restart. Now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then you can check. Still not working. Now the next step is to run SFC and DI SIM command. Now for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. The scan will take some time. And in my case, the scan is already complete. It's telling me to restart my computer. And so restart your computer. And then after the system restart, you can again type in CMD, make a right click, and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow, and then paste the second command, hit the enter key. Now, once the second scan is 100% complete, uh, this will also take some time. And once this scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Uh, use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here, uh, write down the name of the update. That is, uh, if when you run those command, if you see retry option, you can try, you know, click on retry and then try to update it once again. If that does not work, you can use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, uh, the update name is KB5065426. You have to write down the name of the update over here and then click on search. Now over here, for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. So you can check which one version you have. So type in WINVER -E -E in Windows search box and then click on WINVER. Over here, you can see version 24H2 and what kind of system you have, you can check it in system and then you can go to about option. Over here, you can see uh, in my case, it's 64 bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 25H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Now click on download and then over here, you will see this KB506. 5426 click on it and then you can once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can just follow the on screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use this fix problems using windows update so open windows settings go to windows update go to advanced option scroll down click on recovery option over here you can see fix problems using one windows update this will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. And this process will take some time. And once it is done, now you can check. Still not working. Use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on Next over here and then select ISO file over here and then click on Next. You can save it to desktop. Save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once this is done, click on Finish option. Once you hit Finish, let this close automatically and then go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file and then make a double click. Run the setup file. Click on Yes to allow 
click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install after the installation log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully and you should not receive these errors so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel